We didn't even know very much about Pluto until this mission arrived in 2015, and before that it was basically just a fuzzy blob. New Horizons took 10 years traveling at three times faster than the speed of a jet to arrive at Pluto. Before, uh, basically we knew you know this much <laughs> about Pluto, but because we got one really quick flyby, we were able to fly close enough to see details like these dunes right here. I mean, we never even knew those existed until just a couple of years ago. And to be able to see a place on a planet for the first time is one of the greatest pleasures of my life. When I first saw pictures of the surface of Pluto, I mean, I was just so blown away by the really Earth-like landscapes that, that I saw. You can see an atmosphere around distant, tiny Pluto. And then the other thing you see that's absolutely like Earth is this giant heart-shaped glacier flowing between rugged mountains. I mean, in so many ways, this could be a scene on the surface of Earth. Gradually, we got higher and higher resolution images of portions of the surface. And in one portion, I was looking at the top corner of the glacier. On the valley floor, I could see long, straight, regular ridges. And as I looked really closely at those, I thought, those are dunes. The dunes we think are made of methane, probably that fell as snow on top of the water ice mountains. So just thinking about mountains of water ice, snow of methane, and glacier of nitrogen just blows my mind. One of the ways we understand what's going on on Pluto is to study similar kinds of landforms on Earth. And this region here in Death Valley, the Mesquite Flat Dunes, is just a, an ideal analog to what we see on Pluto. We know that these dunes are oriented transverse to the winds, exactly like they are on Pluto. And because I've been bringing my class here for the last eight years, my mind was ready to recognize similar kind of landforms when we saw them there. Looking at these analogs really helps us understand places on other planets because we can walk around on them, we can pick up the sand, we can better understand what way the wind is blowing, and this tells us a lot more than we can find on other planets where we have really limited data. You know, really now we just can't get enough. We want to get out there and that will tell us so much about our solar system where we have been focusing on what's close to us, but there's a wealth of information in the distant reaches of the solar system too.